Uh, this comedian is the host of the Undiagnosed Podcast that is filmed on Monday nights at the Times Lounge in Waterloo. Uh, they have awesome national headlining acts that have been stopping by recently and have had some sweet bands, I think, too. But guys, he's a really good comedian, and uh, give it up for the one, the only, Oliver Schmitz, y'all. All right, he did so good, he had to drop the mic on his way out. Give it up for Matty J, everybody. Uh, packed house indeed, I like it, and all we had to do was give away beer. All right. Uh, and they're doing summer shandy, which is exactly what I'm in the mood for in October, so. <laughs> Fuck yeah. And I noticed in the crowd earlier, uh, no marriages or kids, but the DUI's going strong, so. <laughs> My people. <laughs> All right, but uh, actually, I don't have any jokes about pissing on kids or them on me. Uh, usually, I just uh, joke about food. You can say that food jokes are my bread and butter. <laughs> oh, it's gonna be that kind of show. Uh, or as the kids would say, they're my jam. Oh yeah, more of this, at least four more minutes of this. So uh, I actually, uh, I like doing food jokes and I looked up some uh, information for one of my jokes and I found out that the can started being used for canned foods in about the year 1850, or no, 1800, but the can opener was not invented until 1850. Which means that for 50 years, they're just like, oh shit. Why the fuck did we do this? <laughs> Somebody invent something so we can actually eat these SpaghettiOs. Because they probably had those back in the 1800s, right? Like, the miscreant. They, they're probably my favorite canned food, partially because their old, uh, their old slogan was, it's the spaghetti you can eat with a spoon. And I want to know, who's that for? I want to know who's like, man, I'm in the mood for some spaghetti, but I don't trust that fucking fork. <laughs> Their, uh, their jingle is also a classic. Their jingle uh, amazes me. Their jingle is, uh-oh, SpaghettiOs. Everyone knows that. But uh, how's that appetizing? How's that helping sell SpaghettiOs? That sounds like the kid coming home from school, like, I wonder what mom made for dinner. Uh-oh, SpaghettiOs. <laughs> I feel like that just barely beat out, oh shit, SpaghettiOs, and god damn it, SpaghettiOs. <laughs> Another one of my favorite food jingles, uh, is the Taco John's jingle. There's a whole lot of Mexican going on, going on at Taco John's. They do it better than me. But I like that because it's like a fun, you know, little jingle, but like, it's also incredibly racist. Like, you can't just go anywhere and speak that, you know what I mean? You can't, you can't just like walk into like a wedding or especially like a quinceanera. It'd be like, there's a whole lot of Mexican going on. <laughs> but I actually really love Taco John's. Taco John's is one of my favorite places to eat. Like, if I ever get, like, trapped in an avalanche in the mountains, and I get, like, 127 hours, you know, with my arm trapped between two rocks, they're the first ones that are going to start looking for me. They're like, he hasn't had any of the tacos in, like, three days. Something terrible's happened to him. They're going to activate, like, the microchips that they put into the food, and they're going to find me. <laughs> They're gonna be like, oh, there's a whole lot of Mexican going on in this area, go get our boy back. And they're gonna find me, and it's gonna be the best thing, cause like actual Taco John is probably gonna be the guy who rescues me, right? Like he's gonna just like bust through Kool-Aid man style through the rocks, like there's a whole lot of avalanche going on. And he's just gonna hand me some potato olays. Like best rescue ever. And he's like, how did you get here so quick? He's like, I rode with my brother, Jimmy. Jimmy John. <laughs> And we go back to their dad's house and eat some shitty pizza. Papa John. <laughs> you were warned about the food jokes. Uh, so I'm single, if that surprises any of you. I think that almost all of the comedians are single that are going to be upstage tonight. But, uh, but I'm single, and the part that bothers me the most about it, actually, I don't care about being single, except for the fact that I can't go to Olive Garden anymore. Because you can't go to Olive Garden when you're a single guy, right? Like, you can't just like pasta. Like, everyone in there just starts making up reasons why you're in Olive Garden alone. Like, I walk in there and everyone is just like, oh, that guy's wife must have died. <laughs> now he's, you know, drowning his sorrows here at Olive Garden. But then they see me smiling at the endless breadsticks coming to my table. 
And they're like, oh shit, he murdered his wife. <laughs> and now he's celebrating at Olive Garden. I bet that sick fuck eats his spaghetti with a fork too. <laughs> All right, that's my time, everybody. We're going to keep the night rolling. I've been Oliver Schmitz. You guys have been awesome. Keep it going one more time for Oliver Schmitz, y'all. Come on.